Hi, this is Rob. In this video, we'll begin our journey on learning CSS. If you watched the videos in my HTML 101 playlist, you'll recall that I pointed you to the w3schools.com website as a resource. I'll do the same from time to time as we move through the CSS content, as the w 3 school site is a great resource for your web development, and I highly recommend bookmarking the site if you haven't done so already. As a refresher, HTML stands for Hypertext Markup Language. It's the language we use for creating web pages, and the code we write in HTML describes the structure of the web page. When we use HTML elements, or tags, to wrap the content we want to display on the page, these elements tell the browser how to display the content. However, HTML is not used for styling a web page. Adding style to a web page, such as what color or font do we want the content to be displayed in? And how big do we want an image to be? Do we want the image to have a border or have a certain amount of padding between it and the text on the page? Is accomplished by using cascading style sheets or CSS. As mentioned, CSS is used to style a web page. It tells the browser how the HTML elements and the content contained within them are to be displayed. As an example, this web page is written in HTML. It has no CSS applied to it. However, we can apply different CSS to the same HTML markup to get different looks in the browser. For instance, here's one view of this page with some CSS applied. And here's another view. And yet another completely different look applying different CSS to the same HTML. I hope that gets you a bit excited about learning CSS and applying it to your web pages, which is what we'll start to do in the next video. I hope to see you there.